Welcome back to No Skinny Jeans, everybody. Thank you for being here. I know it's been a little bit, but we're back. We're ready to go. Quick introduction of who I am. Uh, just in case you haven't been here with me or you're just catching me, my name is John. I go by No Skinny Jeans. My wife is Lauren. Uh, she has her own channel, uh, just Lauren Brazy Vlogs. I used to be 400 pounds. I got all the way down to about 300, and I have gained over the past, I would say, probably four to five months, six months since Everett's been born. I probably gained back about 30 pounds is my guess. Uh, I'll weigh in, you'll see my weigh in later. That is the gist of quick synopsis of who I am. Now, that being said, I posted something about a forum saying negative things, and this is the last I'm going to talk about this. Quick 30 seconds, boom, boom, bam, done. Won't mention them anymore because some great things came of it, so I'll talk about those after. Don't ever Google yourself, first off. Came across that stuff and just kind of, uh, it was a slap in the face. And not so much the things they said about me, could care less about what you say about me, because I, I'm a grown man, I can take that. It was more of what they had to say about my daughter and other individuals with autism that kind of hurt. I'm not gonna go into detail about it, I'm not gonna do any of that, but that's what stemmed those posts, along with some things they said about my wife, but that's what stemmed those posts. So that's it, that's all I'm talking about them. Now you guys, I want to thank you for the countless messages, countless comments uh, that I received. Uh, I don't have Messenger through Facebook, so I don't really check those on my page there, but Instagram, I, I probably got about 60, 70 messages of just people being encouraging, some people giving stories, which honestly guys, that, and I told Lauren this, uh, I told Lauren, you know, that's what really made this worthwhile, made, really reassured me that the things I read there weren't how everybody else feels. Cause sometimes when you read negative stuff online, you feel like, oh, does everybody really think that? Like, is that who they think I am? And seeing and feeling what you guys said m meant a lot. So thank you for that, I really appreciate it. And something else amazing happened last night. Uh, we've been laying with Ella at night, like right before she goes to bed, cause she has some trouble initially falling asleep. So I was laying with her last night and she put her arm out. And usually what'll end up happening is I do that with her. I'll put my arm out, she'll lay her head on me and kind of start dozing off and then I'll move her over and put her to sleep. So last night, it was just strange. I don't know if she could feel my energy or feel how I felt, but she put her arm out and looked at me and said, lay on my arm, lay on my arm. And she says it like that. Like I'm not imitating her, but that, that's how she talks. I, I just, it was, it's surreal, really. I, I don't know how else to say it. But I laid my head down on her and she just started rubbing the back of my head and kind of just being gentle, like she knew what I needed. So again, I've said it many times, uh, she is my hero. She, watching her do things makes everything easier to get through. Uh, depression, every day, things like that, like losing weight. It all stems from her inspiring me. So that was kind of a touching moment I had with her and it, that meant a lot to me too. So. Yeah, today is all positive, baby. Uh, we posted on Instagram, tell me some of your positivities and those have been coming in. So thank you for those. I really appreciate it. Um, other than that, yeah, we'll talk with Lauren a little bit because she's gonna join me on her own terms on this because she has an issue putting things out there and she doesn't want to be judged for things. So I totally understand that. Meanwhile, I am going to be on the scale, taking measurements, doing those things, because that's what helps me. And I'll explain my philosophy on how I want to approach this and coming back, so. So, I'm back in the uh, back room here. You may hear the kids out there rumbling and stumbling, that's what they do. We're not gonna do measurements this video. I know I, and Lauren, you might wanna edit that out in the car talk, but I'm going to do measurements um, on my next weigh in. And at that point, like I have my starting weight right now, which again, Lauren can insert before this or after or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh in because I wanna weigh in first thing in the morning. So this way I can show you guys what I weigh. <clears throat> if I sound a little hoarse than that, Ella decided uh, sharing is caring and gave me her little head cold. So let's weigh in and see where I'm at. I'm ignore the ugly feet there, but it said 332. 
There we go. So there we go, 332. That will be our starting point for our, this journey going forward. Um, what happened before doesn't matter. And I kind of wanted to touch on what my plans are uh, to keep going. As I stated in a previous video, I want to add muscle to be able to contend with Ella growing, things like that. And you hear Lauren wooing in the background. To be able to contend with Ella growing and just the demands that will be put on me. Um, before when I lost weight, it was great. I was losing weight. But at the same time, I did notice that I was losing strength and muscle mass. So going forward, um, I'm going to incorporate weightlifting into my schedule, um, whether that is with my resistance bands, which you saw uh, previously if you've been here. If not, you'll see them definitely soon. I will be going back to the gym. That being said, I like to go to the gym when nobody is there just for, I kind of get my zone. Uh, when nobody's around, I just put on my headphones, crank the music, and get to work. I find that I go into a deeper zone, I can focus more on my technique and the amount of weight I'm lifting and things like that. Essentially, I want to put on muscle mass safely while losing weight, and I believe I can do that. And this is going to be trial and error, um, but hey, that's what we're all here for. It's kind of like a uh, Truman Show moment. You guys are going to be with me and seeing whether I gain weight, lose weight, whatever it is. But if you are starting out, just quick pieces of advice here. Um, and I like to keep it old school. Some people measure by electronics, things like that. Get yourself one of these. A little cheap notebook. Uh, I write down everything in this. Uh, so what my plan is to do is to write down workouts. What I eat water intake for the day things like that uh, things I can go back and revisit daily to see maybe why I feel this way or what did I do differently and you know sorry for the bad lighting I'm using outside and it's kind of cloudy but that that's pretty much what my plan is it, to bring all of that in with the weightlifting things like that and I'll show you guys what I can um, definitely gonna have videos try for videos weekly uh, that is my plan going forward. I'm not going to be so focused on the scale this time. Um, and if that disappoints pe people, excuse me, if that disappoints people, you know, I'm truly sorry. Uh, but my plan is to, again, add strength, healthier habits to my diet. Um, I'm definitely going to up the protein that I take in. Um, that doesn't mean it has to be calories, things like that. I mean, I will probably have a protein shake or something like that or just add more meat um, as far as that goes. I won't be weighing my meat and doing that hardcore um, but I will be focused on making sure that I intake enough protein daily. The only electronics you'll see me using um, this camera, headphones, my phone, my Apple watch which I will measure for distance, things like that. That's pretty much it guys. It's not a complicated thing. Uh, I think a lot of people overcomplicate their weight loss and then they get hyper focused, which I'm guilty of. I did that this last time. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it together. And I know this is gonna be a quick short video and may not be everybody's cup of tea. So as you guys saw, I gained, um, probably about 32 pounds. We'll just say I was close to 300. I think it's like 33 pounds. It's fine. Whatever it is in the past six months, which I'm not worried about because like I said, this is the start of a new journey. We're going a different approach and we're gonna see how it goes. So I'd love for you guys to be along with me. If you're not, that's okay too. Remember, once again, we got this.